As we roll into October of this year, it's important to keep in mind that on October 26th, a policy that immigration has been using that gives certain individuals an extra period of time on their employment authorization while a renewal is pending is going to be modified so that instead of receiving an automatic extension of 540 days, it's going to go back to 180 days. So listen to this to see if you fall into it, because if you do, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and file for that renewal before October 26th hits. Since May of 2022, because immigration has been taking so long to adjudicate renewal applications of employment authorization, the agency has been giving an automatic extension of employment authorization for a longer period of time than it traditionally had. So previously, if you had a renewal application pending in a certain category, so long as you filed that renewal application before your employment authorization expired, and so long as it was in the same category, then you got an automatic extension of 180 days. But because it was taking so long to process these, starting in May 2022, immigration expanded that period of automatic extension by 360 days, bringing it to a total of an extra 540 days. That change was only authorized up until October 26, 2023. So that is set to expire unless sometime between now and then it is extended. So hopefully it will be, but in the event that it is not, go ahead and start planning ahead to decide whether or not you want to file for an extension of your employment authorization before that date. Because if it's not filed before that date, then you're not going to benefit from that same automatic 540 day extension period. If you haven't already taken advantage of this automatic extension, let me explain to you how exactly you can do that. So in order to do it, you have to have currently an employment authorization in one of the listed categories. Check the comments below to see which of these categories qualify. And then you will file for a renewal, assuming you're eligible for a renewal, file for that renewal employment authorization card within the time span of your current employment authorization card. Remember, it has to be done before that card that you currently have expires. So you file it and it has to be in the same category. Once you get the receipt notice back from immigration, that receipt notice is going to list the category in which you have applied for a renewal. So long as that receipt notice was shows a receipt date that predates your employment authorization expiration of your current employment authorization card. And so long as the category of that renewal matches the category on your current employment authorization card, then you are eligible for employment for 540 days or until you receive a decision on your renewal application. Some of the common categories that you see benefiting from this automatic extension include refugees, asylees, TPS, and one that we see a lot is for persons with pending adjustment of status applications, because those applications can take a long period of time. You might have to renew your employment authorization several times in the course of it. And right now, those renewals are taking up to a year, if not longer. And so this automatic extension has been a lifesaver for a lot of those people. And I hope USCIS keeps that in mind when they are deciding whether or not to extend this extra period of time. Now, most or many of you have probably already gone through this process before and utilized this automatic extension. But if you have not, just so you know, it can sometimes create confusion for an employer who wants to look at a physical employment card and see that it is still valid. And in this situation, you can't do that. So I'm going to link below a calculator that you can give to your employers. It's just an online website, a government website, where you can plug in all of the dates to make a determination about whether or not you are in fact still authorized to work. It's a really handy tool that makes a lot of employers feel better about whether or not they are lawfully allowed to employ you. Now, why USCIS would not decide to expand this for a longer period of time, I don't know because if you look at their current processing times, yes, some applications for employment authorization renewals are just taking a few months, but a whole lot of them are taking 12 months or even longer. So having an, a 540 day automatic extension period is very reasonable. And so maybe we'll see some of that reasonableness 
from USCIS in the coming months. Otherwise, like I said, make sure that your category is covered. And if you want to benefit from it, go ahead and apply so long as you're eligible to. So for more information about this, check out the comments below. I'll also include a list of the categories that this applies to. So make sure that you're paying attention to that to see if that's the category in which your employment authorization is eligible. We'll make sure to pay attention to whether or not immigration does extend this period of time because I know it does affect a lot of you guys. So if you want to know about it, make sure that you hit that little bell icon so you get a notice when we put out a new video to let you know about any changes to this program. If you think you might qualify to benefit from this, Make sure you take advantage of it if you can. Check the comments below for some more information about which categories do qualify and whether or not you fall into that category. Don't forget to hit this like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video.